Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about time scale problem and how it is addressed in KMC. So in previous video I gave a brief introduction to what is Kinetic Monte Carlo and in this and the next set of videos I will describe basics of Kinetic Monte Carlo. So the objective of atomistic and molecular simulation is to study dynamic evolution of system of atoms. The most popular and conventional approach uses molecular dynamics. Here, the positions of the atoms in the system are defined by propagating classical equations of motion forward in time. Force on every atom is defined by differentiation of atomic potentials. As a result, MD is primarily dependent upon choice of interatomic potentials. Now these constitutes shortcomings of MD. There is a huge database of interatomic potentials which are specific for kinematic process and there is a probability that the chosen interatomic potential might not be adequate to study a kinematic process of interest. Then MD results depend upon the boundary conditions defined by the user. Furthermore, since MD uses classical equations of motion, it neglects quantum dynamical effects which are crucial at micro and nano scales. Most importantly, simulation time in molecular dynamics is limited to femtoseconds to nanoseconds. In comparison, time step for a kinematic process can be very slow. Therefore, MD fails to capture such slow phenomena. On another level, kinetic Monte Carlo simulations can increase the time scale up to microseconds and therefore, Kinetic Monte Carlo is a solution to such timescale problems. In Kinetic Monte Carlo, only state-to-state -state transitions are considered. That is to say, only movement of system from one energy basin to another is recorded and vibrational degrees of freedom are neglected. Only reaction steps such as atom jumps, adsorption, desorption, etc. are considered. However, KMC still has its own shortcomings. Since probability of any event happening is dependent upon its rate constants, RF and RS here, process with high rate, that is to say fast process, will happen more and can dominate the results, ultimately leading to neglection in sampling of slower processes. To solve this issue, several user-defined algorithms have been used within KMC framework. I'll be mentioning few of them here. The first is time leap method. Here, KMC simulation is accelerated by firing off multiple processes at once. This is useful when site population does not change dramatically within time step of KMC. Second way is to separate slow and fast processes during KMC algorithm. User has to separately define time scales for such processes. In some latest works, rate constant of fast process is decreased during simulation run which is later scaled manually. Alternatively, fast process can be quasi-equilibrated by limiting them to certain number of executions. Or, user can only track executions of reaction channels of interest. These and several more approaches can be applied to solve the problem in KMC. Each of these will be discussed when we talk about KMC algorithms in further videos. So thank you for watching. If you wish to learn more, please subscribe.